Hey guys, what's up? In the spirit of Thanksgiving, I'm going to review some definitely holiday themed meals like this Barilla Italian, Italian style entrees. I'm going to review three of these bad boys. We got the spicy uh, Mariana Pini. We got the spicy pennies. We got the tomato and basil pennies. We got the marina pennies. How is the, oh, this is the spicy versus the normal, eh? Yeah, I'm sorry for butchering all of those names. The instructions for all of them are just Peel back the film, microwave for one minute, uh, remove film, pour sauce on pasta, and you're done. So I'm going to cook up all three of these. It's all just one minute for each, and then I'm going to uh, taste them and see which one I like best and what I think overall. I'm going to be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to see if I can get a good view. So this is how it turned out. We got the Mariana, the whatever, pen, Pini, whatever, the spicy Mary, whatever, Pini, and then tomato and basil over here. So M, at spicy M, tomato and basil. So I'm gonna start over here with the tomato and basil first. Let's uh, it's all right. It tastes like pasta. You can taste the tomato. I don't know that you really can really taste basil. I don't know what basil normally tastes like. That's too fancy for my family, but you know what? It's all right. It tastes pretty good. It tastes like generic uh, noodles. The noodles, I don't know. I, I don't know that I like the taste of the noodles compared to, they're not the best noodles I've had, but they're all right. All right, I'm gonna do the normal, whatever that's called, the M word. Mm, you know, I think I like this one better. It's got a little bit more intensive flavor, I think. Yeah, I definitely like the Marina, whatever, pennies, pine, whatever it is, better than the tomato. The tomato one also has these chunks that I, of tomato that I'm not too, uh, too hot about. All right, I'm gonna try the spicy one now. Okay, so, ah, uh, initially the spice does not kick in, but there's sort of a spicy aftertaste and you can, um, you can tell. <sighs> yeah. Ugh, I, I swallowed one too big without chewing. Oh. All right. Well, uh. I'm gonna say these two taste almost exactly the same. This one does have a little bit of spice though. Overall, I'm gonna say this one's number one, the spicy one, because I like spicy, followed by this one and then the tomato and basil last. I'm gonna give these like a, a six out of 10. They're all right. They're not a, 
they're not bad. Uh, they're, they don't taste like the best pasta I've ever had, but for microwave, they're, they're decent. They're super easy to cook. You just sort of throw it in there for one minute. It's like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to get a drink after deep throating that, uh, that piece of pasta. It's feeling it. Ugh. My skills have not yet been realized, I guess. Train, but I'm gonna give, yeah, I'd say I think it was a six. It's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, one minute, it is just pasta, so you might want something else, like maybe a Vienna sausages or a tuna fish or something for super low effort if you don't want to cook anything else, but maybe, maybe the Barilla or whatever, the, uh, the company that made this also makes other, like, one minute things that you can pair with this. Because pasta alone is kind of, kind of weird, but you know what? It's still pretty good. Six. Oh man, that one, that noodle that went down. No mercy really did a number on me. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good Thanksgiving. See ya. Hey guys, what's up? This is the outro. I did end up eating all of that pasta, and I would rate that experience like a 2. At first, I felt like I was going to puke. But now I just kind of feel disgusting. I was going to go to bed because it's like, what is it? 4.20 a.m. Whoa! Why is it? Ugh. Man. I do not feel good. Uh, I highly discourage you from eating three things of that right before you're going to go to bed. Not a good experience, very uh, disruptive to my ability to go to sleep. Anyway, thank you for watching.